Hey guys, it is Tyler here once again with another Halo 5 Guardians video update. This time we're going to be looking and analysing E3 and what Microsoft and Halo had to offer us for Halo 5 Guardians. Now, two main elements, obviously, that we're going to go over, which is the campaign and the multiplayer. First, we'll start with the campaign, which had a demo with a kind of gameplay trailer either side, setting up to that demo, and then following that. So a lot of story elements we can take away from this. Obviously, we know that there's a battle, obviously, between Master Chief and Agent Locke and their two squad. Master Chief's squad with the other Spartan 2s that he's fought with in the past, and Locke with his team, including Spartan Buck, who obviously was our commander or sergeant in ODST. So that's really cool to see Buck come back. And uh, we kind of get a glimpse into that Master Chief has done a lot of stuff that we don't really understand as of yet and have no real reason to know why he's done it. So in the trailer we hear Lasky kind of talking, I think it's Lasky, saying that Master Chief's missing and he's gone. 0631 this morning. Master Chief was declared absent without leave. We have the Arbiter talking to Locke and pretty much just saying, yeah, no, I know you're a Spartan and everything, but you're hunting the Master Chief. And he pretty much tells him where to go, the Covenant's final stronghold. I'm not sure if that's uh, because he actually wants to help Locke find the Master Chief, or maybe because I know the Arbiter is trying to take out the Covenant, he thinks, well, let's pretend Master Chief's there and get the Spartans to go there and they'll help us kill some Covenant. I'm not sure as of yet what the Arbiter's motivations are, because we're not really sure what the Master Chief has totally done. We know he's gone, but what outside of that? Because it seems like he's done a bit more than that, specifically when Buck's talking about how when people hear about their mission to try to kill or take out the Master Chief, the rest of the Spartans are going to hate them. But Locke says, you're not the only one here because of him. Every soldier, when they hear about this, they're gonna hate us. You know that, right? You're not the only one here because of him. So, what has the Master Chief done to Locke? What's the Master Chief done to Buck? And what's he done to these other people or Spartans that Locke's talking about? I really, really would like to know what's the motivation here behind trying to take out the Master Chief. So there's just those few little story hints that leads us into the demo we see at the Covenant Stronghold. And if, I mean, Halo 4 on the 360 looked bloody good, but holy crap, Halo 5 on the Xbox One, the first next-gen Halo, it looks great. It looks like Halo 4 with a lot of uh, improvements graphically, gameplay-wise. Um, very fluid looking, seems to run very smoothly. Um, and similar to Halo 4, kind of bringing in those kind of quick-time events and things like that that happen. Uh, and little animations of like falling off things or little cinematics in first person and things like that which are cool. And it's cool we get to see glimpses of Locke's special abilities, being able to analyse zones, seeing the squad and how you direct them to do what you want to do. We see Covenant back obviously and the return of Prometheans, some new and some old. And uh, in the end of this demo quite interesting because we get a glimpse of the Guardians and everything which just seem like I'm not sure if they're living Prometheans or they're actually just ships or vessels that are used by Prometheans or others I'm not sure the forerunners I just don't know exactly what these Guardians are as of yet uh, but obviously they're not they're not great news at least that's what I'm able to tell uh, and we also get to see definitely some new enemies but at the end of the demo something happens that's very strange to me so we have this, like, uber Promethean that has, like, a voice and is talking. Uh, not sure who he is. I don't think it's, like, a Promethean didact yet. Uh, but we see him kind of jump out, pushes down Locke, and he says to Locke, The Master Chief is called, but you, your passage is denied. So are the Prometheans on the side of the Master Chief? What the fuck has the Master Chief discovered that is allowing the Prometheans to side with him or help him or get him somewhere? What's his... We obviously know Master Chief's like the chosen one. He's the one, you know, the librarian said in Halo 4 that he's, you know, that one, the evolution of humanity. He's the man that's supposed to get humanity onto the mantle of, like, dominance of the galaxy, of that top kind of... Uh, species in the galaxy to help guide the rest you know master chief's supposed to do that so what the hell's he done is he kind of fulfilling his destiny or is is it i don't know like it's just so confusing as of right now because they're showing us lock stuff they're showing us what they're trying to do but they're not showing us what's happened to the master chief and why he's doing what he's doing he's obviously got people on his side with his squad so there's definitely good reason for both sides i think and we're gonna have to wait 
either till more information comes out or Halo 5 comes out to know all of this important information. So guys, that's it for the demo. We'll move on to the multiplayer and holy shit, I'm a big fan of Halo multiplayer. Uh, but it's been not lacking, but I don't know. It's just hard to keep, keep it improving and getting better when it's been going for so many years it's like what can you do to make it better and by god 343 i think might have just found the way with warzone which is pretty much a multiplayer mode it's player versus player versus fucking everything so you get bigger maps supposedly four times the size of regular halo maps you get to battle with vehicles and all the weapons of the Halo arsenal uh, with your own kind of upgrades throughout the game. So it's you, 12 players in your team versus another team of 12 versus an army of Prometheans versus an army of Covenant on these big maps. So it's just a bunch of factions all fighting uh, to control zones, which is crazy. Uh, very, very cool that we get to see some NPC enemies as well as just fighting other enemies and control of those zones and maps with even boss battles and things like that depending on the map, whether it be a Covenant boss or these like events that pop up through the match that are going to happen. So that's super awesome and it's not just things lying around in the map for weapons and vehicles, but the more you do like kill streaks and stuff, you can go to your base or whatever and kind of uh, summon them or summon weapons and spend your tokens that you got from getting kills or capturing zones or kind of helping out teammates and things like that. So you can really get any weapon you want and any vehicle you want, but you have to work for it. You don't just, uh, you get them for doing nothing. So that's really, really cool. There's a lot to like about Warzone, at least by the looks of it. Uh, we didn't get to see that in the beta. We just got to see the smaller arena battles 4v4, which was fine, but I'm glad we get to see some really big team battles here. To really diversify the multiplayer, so if you're kind of into that just super fast pace, quick games, you, you know, you want that small arena 4v4, if you're really into just massive warfare and long games, you, you'll be into Warzone, or you might be into one and then get over it and then move on to the next, I don't know, it's just, it's good to have some diversity in game modes that isn't just uh, basic, here's the next map and, you, you know, here's this and that, it's very very diverse in the whole way you'd be playing the game and approaching it in terms of multiplayer. So that's very, very cool. Halo 5, easily the th game I'm most excited for in 2015. So that's my review and analysis for E3 2015. I'll keep you updated as more demos, trailers, and information for Halo 5 Guardians comes out. And um, I'll be doing a Halo 2 anniversary legendary run soon. Uh, so I'll be uploading that. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, for that. Thanks, Heath, for watching. And I will see you guys in the next Halo video.